Good morning, people. Happy Thursday. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit risky again today. Like, I'm, I'm all over the place with my looks. So, yeah, it is what it is. So I do have another product to talk to you today. I actually brought two things with me because I was kind of undecided. I was like, I don't know which one I want to talk about. And um, so I think I'm going to go with this other one. The second thought of the one that I had. Um, you know, there's been a lot of crave about all the liquid lipsticks and, you know, people having matte lips. And so I'm all about the matte lip, which I love my lipstick at home. I have on my... Um, Tom Ford lipstick today and I have it on just a dab in the center over top of a lip liner that I have no idea the name of it where it's from but it's like a little piece of one that's left over that I've had forever and I have no idea I can't remember who it was from but I love the color and so and I left both of them setting on my makeup table so not real happy with myself because I like the look today but I have some lipstick in my purse, I think, I hope, I don't know. Um, I'm sure I do. But anyway, so um, with all the matte cravings going on, um, everyone wanting matte lips, well, not everyone, but you know what I mean. It's like a big thing to have matte lips for some people, including myself. So I purchased an item kind of like without like really really thinking about it like it was like one of those oh my god this will be perfect and then after I got it I realized like I, I had had it for probably three three days to a week and I hadn't even looked at it like I hadn't even taken it out of the package like I, it was still in the bag so I thought to myself I go okay am I like not really into this product or what like why is it that I haven't had any idea about using it well, then I got to thinking, I'm like, well, it's because you have so many liquid lipsticks that are matte and you have been wearing those and you haven't been wearing your other items, your other lipsticks. So it's kind of like a no brainer. Like that's why you haven't pulled it out. Pause on that. And then I'm going to just tell you a little bit about what I'm wearing. Um, I did do my face again with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, and I have on my um, Estee Lauder Mineral Double Wear Loose loose mineral powder so I'm, I'm wearing that today and you know it's it is a good it's a good little combination it's a good foundation it is it's that foundation that's the root of the foundation it's like you know that you can throw that on on any given day and it's going to look good because it is just a good foundation so um that's what I'm sporting on the face today and I even you know what, now that I think about it, I have a lot of Estee Lauder on today. I actually have on um, a duo that I have um, had forever. And I, for a long time, I wore that like almost every day of my life. Like, before I really got into eyeshadows, um, I had an Estee Lauder, I have an Estee Lauder quad that I would wear. And I would wear this duo. The duo way more than the quad. But um, because the colors were just easy, it was a, a one color called pink, which is kind of a brown with a little bit of black in it, but you know more brown, which is what I have on the top part of my eyelid. And then almost like a, um, it it's like an orangey beigey, but it's almost like a fluorescent, but it doesn't sparkle. It's matte. I don't know how to describe the other color. I don't know what the name of that color is, but um, that's what I have on the little part of my lid. And so, I mean, I I just love that this is like these two things, the, the foundation, well, I should say three, the foundation, the powder, and the eyeshadow duo, these are like my staple go-to pieces that if I can't figure out what the heck I want to do, I have no idea what I want to wear, uh, you know, I'm having a, just a bad day. If I put this on, I'm good because it's going to look good sticking to the basics you know what I mean so yeah so um liking that and again like I said I have on my Tom Ford which is I cannot ever think of that name of this, this lipstick but I will indicate it and my blush today um we got some highlight going on um which is a two-faced highlight and then I have on my standard blushes but you know pretty much 
blushes are always going to be the same because I only own about, I own, I guess about six blushes and I pretty much only wear about three to four of them. So, yeah, sticking to the basics. <laughs> and then I have on a red scarf today um, with a black loosely fitting top that kind of comes down long. And because I'm fat, y'all, I had to find the biggest top I could find because I have on my um, animal print pants that I was wearing there for a while and they just fit me so good and now they're so tight um, and I was like almost telling myself not to wear them today because I was like oh my god I feel like I'm stuffed in a sardine can or something but um, I decided that you know what just suck it in girl <laughs> and I put on a loser fitting top and so I'm perpetrating today big time y'all perpetrating like a mother like I am so fat today so anyway I'm not real happy um, but it, you know it's a reality check for me because you know I had a lot of animal print for a while and um, I got rid of a lot of my animal print clothing because I was just like I have so much and I just you know it's like I'm trying to branch out to other looks and whatever but these have been pants that I've just actually just continued to love and when I saw them I did them on the rack last night I was just like you know I've worn those in so long I should pull them out and wear them and you know it didn't even really dawn on me that girl you have gained some weight since you had those on until when I was ironing them this morning I was like um last time you wore these pants girl like I think you were probably like 10 to 10 pounds smaller and I was like oh lord that could be trouble and it was trouble but I'm making it work I mean I don't look tacky or anything I mean um like I said I can perpetrate like a mother <laughs> Yeah, so that is basically what I have. And I do have my jacket because, you know, I have to you know, wear pants, quote unquote. I'm supposed to wear a jacket in my, in my profession. Well, it's not because of my profession. It's just because of our rules that are dumb. But yeah, so basically that is what's going on on the face and the clothing. And um, my nails are from Zoya, which is a gray. I've had this on now for... I guess the last few days since Monday. I think I came home Monday and changed my nail polish because it chipped again on me and I was not real happy about it. But I don't know what color this is, but it is one of the ones I got off of clearance from Ulta a while back. I went in there and like totally like made out on some like abandoned on some nail polishes between Zoya and Essie nail polishes being on sale and then I had a coupon so I was just like hey yeah. But that's what I've got going on for today, and I'm probably going to get off now because it looks like I am in the midst of some chaoticness going on here. And I won't be able to show you the product, of course, until I come to a stop, and I need to concentrate. So I will see you guys in a few. Hang tight. Okay, so I'm here at the JLB. Gonna talk to you a little bit about and show you this product. Okay, so the product that I have been going on and on about, and you're probably going, girl, I really don't care. I just want to see what you're talking about and I know I'm long-winded and that's okay because this isn't like a I'm just sitting down to do just this quick little review and I'm going to talk about the product and give you this is a roundabout me sharing so I apologize I know it's probably chaotic that I do this but it's me so this product is called Smashbox Insta Matte and it basically is a um, <clears throat> Created, tested, photographed. Okay. So basically what this product is for is it is to make your lipsticks matte. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't um, it doesn't extend the wear of the lipstick. That's the actual tube. Uh, let's turn it around so you can see it. That's the actual tube right there. So it's not very, very big. But I mean, this would probably last you forever because you only need a dab. Like you only need a dab. But like I said, um, it doesn't claim to make your lipstick last longer. It just make a glossy lipstick matte. And um, I think I would probably love it more if it did both. Like if it made it matte and it made the staying power of the lipstick last longer. Um, I just, like I said, I, I probably purchased this at the wrong time. Or maybe not so much wrong time, but really for me, I don't know. I'm a person that pretty much wears pretty much all matte lipsticks period um, every lipstick you know I think every lipstick that I have actually purchased have been a matte lipstick 
um, probably in the last five years. Um, probably before that, you know, I, I know I went through my phase where there was one that was real glossy. We went through that glossy phase and I wore lip glosses a lot. And, um, but I don't know, I haven't been in that phase in years. So I don't even know why when I bought this, if I was thinking like I would get all of this use out of it because if almost all my lipsticks are matte, then why do I need this product? But then it's like, I do have the freebies, the ones that you get in like, um, like Estee Lauder all the time. Clinique. I have so many of those lipsticks because I do try to purchase when I can get something for free. Is this hair looking cray cray, y'all? I think it is. That's okay. It feels so good. Y'all have no idea how much I love my hair right now. But, um, okay, watching people go by. But, um, yeah, so I, my thought process is I'm probably going to keep it. And I'm probably going to try to use it with or on those products. Like I have so many of those lipsticks that I don't ever use. And a lot of times I give them away. Maybe I can kind of use some of them now. Maybe if I mat them out or um, maybe that'll make me like them more. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to deem this product not necessary to have. Because there again, you can take powder and do the same thing. I mean, you can take a translucent powder or just your you know and just dust it over your lips and it's going to mattify your lipstick um to the degree that this i mean this doesn't perform any type of miracle like i said i think if it was one that added stay in power along with the mattifying it would be perfect but because it just mattifies you can do that with anything well not in, you know with a powder so I think that's why I don't deem it necessary in the makeup world. This is, of course, just my opinion. And a lot of good my opinion is it only works for me. <laughs> but if this is one of those items that if you are a person and you already have a lot of lipstick, matte lipsticks, A, you won't need this. Um, B, or if you're a person um, that... Now, if you're a person that really like, love the shimmers and the high gloss lipsticks or the lustrous lipsticks, then you might want to have this just for those days that you might want to matte it down, but you don't want to go out and invest in a lot of money on a, a matte lipstick or something like that. But I don't deem it necessary. Like if, if for every few blue moons that you decide that you want matte lips, if you're not a person that like matte lips, then you can just do it with powder. Or if you're a person that has lots of matte lipsticks already, then you really don't need this. The few that you have just dust powder over them that, that aren't matte. So um, $24, I think I probably paid way too much even though I got it with a 20% discount. I'm pretty sure it was 24. It was either somewhere between 21 and $24. But I um, can't say that it's something wrong with the product because it isn't. It's just a product that I can't make sense out of in my head as to why I actually purchased it. And that's my own fault um, for me personally. So um, that's my opinion on this item right here. Uh, even though I think I'm probably going to keep it. Because I think it's actually probably been too long that I could take it back. Although I've never had the 90 day rule work for me. They just take my stuff back. And I know I've had stuff. One time I had an item and I forgot I even had it. I had it in the bag, sitting in my closet. Never had used it. And I thought I had taken it back and totally had not. And I think I'd had it six months. And they took it back. They didn't even question me. So probably not really so much that they'll worry about that. But I don't know. I think the intuition about this product makes me want to hold on to it. Like, is it going to be one day that I'm going to really find some use out of this product? I don't know. But anyway, so I'm probably going to keep it. I'll keep you posted whether or not I'll go back and add if I end up deciding to take it back or something like that. I'll add that in the description box. But as of right now, I'm probably going to keep it. Um, again, don't deem it necessary. Um, I'm a thumb sideways this product, meaning that you have to make that call on this product. And it depends on what you prefer, what you like as far as with lipsticks and what your personal needs are. And that's kind of how you would decide whether or not this product's necessary. Or if you do dust powder over your lipsticks already and do you like that process? Is it working for you? Then you, you don't need this. But anyway, that is my little talk for today, my little sharing mini review um not, not so much a review but just a mini this is how i feel about this product so you guys have a fantastic day by the time you see this video of course it's going to be like late night or early on friday morning because today's thursday and i upload this when i get home in the evening usually while i'm sleeping i wake up in the mornings and i'm like wow people but you know we're all on different time zones and 
some people <clears throat> are late out night owls so they don't have to you know they can stay up all times of night and I love people like that because sometimes I am that way so you might see it at three o'clock in the morning go ahead and thumbs it up let me know how you feel tell me if you tried this product what do you think about it like do you have this in your collection and do you actually use it take care and I'll talk to you later okay so I am off to run an errand for work okay seatbelt just came on um, and because of that I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of vlog for a few minutes while I'm in route I'm going to go pick up some water and um, for work so I thought I'd just vlog for a tad bit you know me my big mouth I love to chat chatter up and that's me so um, I was looking at some of my responses from my vlogs this week and thanks to everyone who has been responding I really do appreciate it um, I just love getting feedback and I know you know my videos are very out there they're very I mean they aren't they're just me hanging out in my car most of the time lately it doesn't seem like I'm doing any hardcore you know makeup tutorials I don't ever do those but um, well I have but they're not very good or any hardcore reviews or you know I, I'm not that person I'm not gonna go out and spend a fortune on products just to uh, demo on YouTube because I don't have it like that but I am a person who absolutely loves makeup fashion jewelry the whole nine yards and so I'm a person that loves to share and um, because I love to share I love doing the YouTube videos so it's just worked out really really good for me and um, I was just looking at some of the responses that I've been getting and I just wanted to take the time out just to say thank you because it makes me feel good and I feel like I have gained friends through this whole journey and um, there's just some people that that I know that they're always there they're always going to watch my videos aren't you lovely she responds to pretty much every video I put out there she likes my things on Instagram and that means so much to me so a special thank you and then um, honeysuckle39 which is my Instagram friend from that was Tanya Mark 2 who actually introduced me or told me about Curly Proverbs with a Z um, she's beautiful gorgeous hair I'm gonna get there girl I'm gonna have my hair down my back just like yours shoulder at least that's where I'm, if I get it to right here again I'd be so happy but um, you know just people that reach out and find in the in this community world that we have going on here it's just awesome and I just want to say thank you um, I didn't I don't think she had to watch in my videos I think she was just a friend on Instagram so now um, I need to look for her name as honeysuckle 39 on Thank you for following me on YouTube, and you know, thanks for turning me on to uh, Chloe Proverbs because I've actually just so enjoyed her, and um, I'm just mesmerized at, at her hair and how well she transformed her hair and had it to grow so fast. So I take everything that she say, like you know, to heart. Like I'm like, I know that everything won't work for all people, so I'm, I mean, I'm smart enough to know that. But it's like you know, I I really pay attention. So thank you, thank you. Johnson, I think it is. I think it's Johnson or Jones. Johnson. If I screw up a name, y'all forgive me. It doesn't mean that I don't really care. It's just that girl have bad thing, bad memory. Okay, like names just go sometimes. But um, another one. She's from my home town area. Like we are like out there in that world of the country living together. And she's followed me for a while. Comment almost religiously. I just love her. Then there's some that don't comment all the time, but when they comment, their comments are heartfelt. Men Pen is one. She comments to me um, when she feels like it, and that's okay. Like, I don't expect everybody to watch every single video that I have. I don't expect everyone to comment on every video that I have because, honestly, I will tell y'all, I watch a lot of videos that I don't comment on because sometimes I'm watching them, like, you know, in the evenings when I'm getting, you know, 
having my tea or I'm because I drink a, a you know my diuretic type of tea thing every evening or I may be getting dressed in the morning and I will play a video well and in my head I'm like oh my god I need to tell her how beautiful she looks or you know and then I don't because I end the video and then I'm off to work or whatever so I totally get the whole you don't always comment and so this thank you goes out to the people that don't comment but just watch my videos and I don't even know that you're watching them but when I have you know and my numbers are small so you know I have 70 watched videos what is it 70 views then that means 70 people watch my video I may only get two comments so that means you know 68 of you just watched and didn't comment so I'm okay with that so thank you thank you thank you to everyone out there in the YouTube world if you see this video make a comment let me know that you did watch it even if you just say watched <laughs> Because I know how it is and I don't hold anybody at bay. I really don't. I think, you know, this is, to me, this is a fun world. It takes off the stress of my life. It makes me laugh. And so, you know, it, it, it warms my heart. You know, it gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I love talking about the things that I love, like makeup and beauty and fashion. So it's just okay for me. Like, it totally is okay for me. So I'm going to do something personal right now because... I have to be back at the office and I'm gonna be stuck at the office all day today I was gonna have a lunch date that now I can't have and then I'm gonna be stuck at the office starting tomorrow all week because the other person is on vacation and so I'm being rebellious yes I am so I'm gonna run a quick personal errand right about now and I don't give a darn <laughs> I will see you guys in a bit Okay, so I ran all the errands. I did the work errands as well as my personal errands. Showed you my tops, and now I'm headed back to work. Not real thrilled about that, but you know, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. Yeah, I love those tops. What do y'all think? They're so cute. So that means I'm gonna take back the one that I was spending. Gonna why well, spent twenty five dollars on, and I'm almost tempted to take another one back that I have. But then I like the colors in that one, so maybe not. But the other one that was $25, I spent, I mean, it has the same colors, and I only spent $15 on that one. So, I mean, they're made different, but, you know, they're still cute. And so, yeah. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. sure but who knows maybe again today you know me I do whatever it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in from one minute to the next so those lips y'all it's still looking pretty good considering I don't have my lipstick and I ate something earlier and I didn't it didn't come off hmm. I'm liking 